So guys, if you've been following the news of Boeing and the 737 MAX deliveries in the recent weeks, then you will come to know that there are many 737s which are basically just sitting outside on the tarmac not being delivered to their airlines. Although the reasons have been speculative from various sources, the actual reason for the delay is down to the delivery in the supply chain. Now there are currently delays to slow shipments of the CFM engines and the Spirit Aero System fuselage sections. There's currently no direct reason as to what has caused these slow shipments, but the two companies are trying to catch up on their delivery commitments in time to allow Boeing to meet their end of year delivery goal set last year. Now one way Boeing are dealing with this issue is to bring back retired workers. Boeing have reached an agreement with the union to bring back retired workers on a temporary basis on August the 15th. Under the terms of this deal, Boeing can rehire retirees only while it continues to hire direct employees. Now around 600 retired employees have been assigned to the Renton factory to help speed up the delivery of the narrow bodies as the company works to recover from the supply chain bottlenecks. There are currently around 50 incomplete 737s sitting outside the Renton factory and also at Boeing Field in Seattle awaiting their engines and fuselage parts while production continues at a normal rate of 52 planes per month. Now Boeing experienced something similar to this in the second quarter, but most of the disruption is to occur in the third quarter which we're currently in right now. Their orders and deliveries report which was released on Tuesday shows that Boeing delivered 48 737s during the month, suggesting a recovery from 29 aircraft that they delivered in August. So guys take what you want from this. There's no doubt about it that this will give an advantage to Airbus and it will take quite some time for Boeing to get through the August and the September backlogs. Now captains, if you have any further information to add, then share it with us in the comments below, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.